Hey, good morning, Derek. Uh, this is a quick demo video for you for your Rev and Dark Side. Um, just got this done last night. Just a little too tired to do this last night. So we'll go through it first thing. <laughs> Excuse me. First thing this morning is allergy season, not COVID. <laughs> so anyway, um, this guy opens up from right here. So we're gonna unscrew the pommel. I use your Goth Eco chassis that you sent with me, or, or I'm sorry, that you sent with the Saber. And uh, here's your board. So easy access to your SD card and your micro USB with your removable battery slot here in the back, 28 millimeter base speaker. Now I had to put a hole for a, uh, for a retention screw right here to hold in the chassis. So this is not a completely removable chassis like your, um, uh, like the light side saber that I just did for you. This needs to stay in place. Um, this chassis, so I had a lot of difficulty with this chassis because they have a little shelf right here on the part that you can't see for the switches to, um, for the switches to sit onto. And then they have a hole in the middle of that shelf for the switch wires to go down and over to the board. But the problem is the alignment on the chassis with the switch hole was off uh, and the hole was actually right underneath where the auxiliary button needed to be. So I spent a long time trying to figure out how I was gonna fill that hole so I could put the switch on there and then and still run, and still be able to run the wires. Um, anyway, it took me some doing, but I got it. So um, that's what's going on there. This chassis is uh, not removable. You do have your CC Sabers, um, CC Sabers LED pixels in there, like we talked about. And so let's throw a battery in here. Oh, the side towards your hilt or towards your switches, that's going to be your negative side always. And then over here by your speaker, that's your positive side. So I just wanted to uh, point that out. You don't want to put the battery in these guys backwards. I know the rest of the story. So we're going to throw this. Pommel on. You do have gesture controls on the proppy. So we could use the button if we wanted to. The front button is going to be activation. You see your pixels in there. Maybe we could just hold the button down and turn it off. Now, well, I do have a test plate in here, so we'll just throw a test plate in. It's a bit of a tight fit, so uh, for this video, I probably won't even use your blade retention screw. But you do have a blade retention screw um, right here. But if my blade, if my test blade is, is a tight fit in this guy, um, then your blade probably definitely will be because I, I, I've uh, sanded this repeatedly over the course of the last year or so, uh, fitting it into different hilts and it's, it was still pretty tight. But anyway, your gesture controls. And then we could twist it off just like that. Um, I did a lot of playing with this last night. I originally had your threshold about 1.9 and it was setting off uh, some false clashes, but mainly it was making it to where I couldn't twist the blade off. But now I think we got it. So I went all, I went all the way from a 1.9 threshold all the way, I think I've got this at a four. But four seems to be working pretty well with it. Now when the blade is off, and you want to get to your sound fonts, you just tap your auxiliary button. We'll do it again. This time we'll use the activation button. This particular font just has a blade that slowly changes color. You can kind of see it, it acts kind of like it's heating up. You know, pretty cool. And then when you turn it off, it will go in reverse. Smooth fun. 
Now we're just kind of into the stock part, right? I just want to cycle through these so you can see that they all work. Gets me every time. So now we're back at the beginning. But just so that you can see all the functionalities working well, and then of course, um, when you're not using this guy, we'll just unscrew the pommel here and then take your your, uh, your battery out. Um, the battery in this chassis is a little bit tighter than I make when I'm uh, when I'm designing my own. But that's fine, uh, nothing wrong with that. If anything, it holds the battery in really well. So I just come in here with my finger on the positive end and I'm able just to pluck it right out, just like that. So you don't need any tools or anything like that. And then, um, you know, that is basically it. Um, if you got any questions, please let me know. If, I, if you feel like I missed something or uh, you wanna know anything else about it, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna get this uploaded and sent to you and then uh, package this up and get it sent out to you today. Thank you, man.